Hello there, welcome back to our channel. And uh, on your screen, you see a differential amplifier using BJT. And uh, this time we are going to simulate a DC transfer curve of this circuit. It means we would uh, see, we apply a differential voltages as shown by voltage source V2 and V3 to the input pins of the transistors. And uh, we will then plot the output and the differential transfer curve will indicate for what range of the differential voltages will have a linear rise in the output of the amplifier. And as we exceed, the maximum differential voltage that can be applied to the input of the differential amplifier, the output will start saturating. So ideally, this uh, theoretically and ideally, this curve should uh, look like this. Let me draw that for your understanding. So here we will have a kind of characteristics where we are going to plot the output and uh, we are going to apply a differential voltage and uh, we see that uh, this differential voltage can be positive or negative and for that you have this linear rise in output both positive and the negative and after certain range, your output starts to saturate. So this is a kind of, we'll say, a differential range of the input voltages for which your output remains increasing the linear curve. So here you say that, here you say that this is a linear range of the output. Okay linear range and this is the vid let us say i have the i'm taking the mod of the uh, vid and i'm taking the mod of v out also when i will represent that so that's the dc transfer curve dc transfer curve and so I have used the DC voltages of one volt at the bias uh, pins of this transistor. And then I have uh, used this resistor R3 of 10K to set the tail current. And there are VSS and the VDD are the positive and the negative power supplies, so each 10 volt, 10 volt positive and 10 volt negative. And uh, to, from the collector pin of these transistor pair, I have another register RC, which are called as passive loads, which are of 10K each. And then from these points, I'm taking the outputs VO1 and VO2. Now, I have used the practical devices, BC547, which is a general purpose small signal amplifier transistor for which I have used the SPICE model. How I have picked up these devices and the components from the library, how I made the interconnection between them, how I use the voltage sources and set the values of it, how I use the power flag symbol, this VDD and the VSS and what is the role of this power flag symbol. All these details have been explained in detail in our previous module. So if you are new, to this channel, you can refer back to those modules to better understand this circuit. However, you can still understand the current concept that we are talking about. That is to understand the DC transfer response or the DC transfer characteristics of a differential pair. So what I'm going to do is I have used the bias voltages of one volt at the base pins of the transistor let me double click the voltage source and you see i have set the value of equal to one volt in this uh, transistor circuit and with that i have used a plus minus 10 volts and with that the transistors circuit 
it has been set at a proper bias point so that these transistors will operate in an active mode or linear mode where they will provide a constant current okay so all these details we have done in our previous model now what i'm going to do i am going to apply a difference voltage to the base of these transistor how i am going to do that because i have set one volt here one volt here so one volt minus one volt is obviously zero there is no difference voltage in the transistor therefore the output will also be zero because the output of these uh, pins will be the gain times the difference so if the difference is zero the output is zero so what i'm going to do is uh, i will sweep one of the voltage source and then i will simulate i will plot the output voltages from these pins so let us do that so for that uh, first i will perform the electrical rule check which i have done earlier also but uh, this uh, tells us if there are any violations of the circuit schematic drawing and the spice model etc so i will click run erc and i see there are zero errors and zero warnings so we have also explained that how to make sure that you don't have any erc okay uh, errors and warnings so okay so now it's time to run the simulation so i will click this option simulate circuit in spice and uh, let me uh, click here simulation command it's basically telling us uh, to use which kind of analysis we want to run so here i will use the dc transfer analysis where i am using the sweep of voltage source v i am going to sweep there are four voltage source in the schematics so i can sweep v2 or is there another voltage source let me show you that uh, there is v3 or v2 either of that we can sweep so we have chosen to sweep v2 let's say uh, and let me show you that so here we are so v2 starting value now the dc bias is one volt so let us sweep it from 0 0.9 to 0 0.9 to let's say final value is 1.1 so i'm sweeping that value of the voltage source from 0 0.9 to 1.1 so it's about 0 0.2 volts range and the increment will be let's say 0 0.0001 i want to very finer steps between this range and uh, that is all i can choose uh, compatibility with uh, any of the spice uh, and i will just select that i will click ok once that is done i will check run or stop look at these tapes and uh, the spice circuit simulator is computing those uh, steps and it might take some time because we have used a very very finer steps so that we will have a smooth curves or response like this okay so we will now uh, wait for a while till that time simulation is being run and after that we would uh, plot our signals we would be interested in plotting the currents through the transistors which are the collector currents and we would be interested in plotting the voltages of the output voltages that is voltages at the collector pins of the transistor so it is still taking a little bit time little bit more time because we have used the finer steps so let us uh, wait for a while or let me come back to you after okay so let's do it uh at about first we need to stop it and then simulation command will say one micro that should be okay click run and look at those steps and it will now do it very fast and done boom okay so done after that click add signals here and you have all these uh, signals there so first you can choose to plot VO1 
and look at this what we have done in a theory case that is the voltage uh, we start with one volt somewhere in the middle here so we'll uh, right click here and uh, okay we'll select this option let me just uh, use this we'll select here we'll right click and we'll click show cursor so right here in the middle is our bias point that is uh, one volt and then from that we have a linear uh, linear increment in the output voltage up to this point and up to this point so from this to up to this point you have a linear curve thereafter it's kind of saturate it's a kind of saturate what about we plot and additional signal vo2 it will be just in opposite direction again in the center you have a bias point and then from let's say from this point to this point you have a linear increment in the output voltage so this from 1.0017 to let's say 0 0.972 that's your differential maximum differential input range you can apply before your output saturates what about we want to plot a current through the collector pin of the transistor so that's the current of from q1 and that's the current of q2 they are also kind of linear and then you have a saturation so this is how ideally you can simulate the dc transfer response of the transistor uh, of the circuit uh, of a differential amplifier and uh, understand the performance of it. so hope you understood this video uh, using keycard software we are using it and we are using this uh, keycard software as a free open source software you can use it for schematic drawing spice simulation schematic to pcb transition and so many other things thank you very much and stay tuned for more informative content like this till then wish you happy learning